Hello everybody, today I'm making this video to just to uh, clear up some things about the auto splitter and in-game timer that um, some people may not know. Uh, the community of Jet Set Radio Future has a lot of people in which this is their first speed game, which I find kind of funny because this is such a, you know, like weird underground game, but um, anyways, I, dig I digress. Because these people have never done any other speed games, they may not know some info that they need to know um, in order to make up their minds about like using the auto splitter and in-game timer and things like that, and just the options it gives you. So, um, I don't, I don't know if there's uh, some people that aren't using it just because they're stubborn, or if it's just laziness of like setting it up, or if it's just ignorance and this video is here to at least tackle the ignorance portion of that, so hopefully that'll help. Um, so first I'm going to show how an auto splitter and an in-game timer even works in terms of like the coding and like you know what what it's actually doing. So I'm going to pull up the actual ASL here. The ASL file is what... Um, you inject into live split to tell it, hey, like, you know, use this to find the, the things you're looking for to, in order to calculate, you know, the in game timer to um, know when to split, to know when to reset, to know when to start, et cetera, et cetera. So, what this is doing is um, this part just says checking to see if the game's running. It's looking for the EXE or um, the Xbox. With this one, the just set data collection container thing. Um, the startup is a lot of the um, options inside of the auto splitter options. So, like, you yeah, know, all the different levels and et cetera, et cetera. So, there's one for souls percent, 80 percent, PJ percent. This tells it to start. And what this does is says, hey, um, if we're on this current mission, which means. This is like the garage, and the old mission is this, which means that's the um, main menu screen. Then go ahead and start, and it does that for each one, for each of the different categories. The in-game timer is saying, hey, you know, like, um, look at this value that we stated up here. These, these are all values from Cheat Engine, from inside the game itself. And if you see that that is uh, new, then, you know, return that new value, basically. Um, is loading, you know, hey, is there a, is, is there a cutscene or like a um, loading screen happening? Like, okay, cool. That means, you know, the IGT is like not moving. So return true and actually pause. And then for split, splits are saying like, if you're in a certain level, like you've entered a new screen, and the old screen was a certain level in particular, that means you did this particular section and that you should split there. So, for example, like this Dogen one, this is for any percent, it's called Dogen Any. It's saying, hey, is your current mission at 120? Which means that is the loading screen for Shibuya. And the old mission screen is 100, which means it is the chapter one's garage. That means you are now entering Shibuya from Dogen because the way we enter is from the garage and then into Shibuya. So therefore it's going to split there. And it does that for each and every one of these. It says, what was the old level? What is the new level? And if it's those two things in conjunction with each other, then split. So having said that, these um, few options that we have on the auto splitter in which it just says, you know, um, any percent souls percent and PJ percent really and truly can be used on basically any category. Um, the reason I haven't added more is because, well, there's a lot of categories that split the same as any percent does. So, for example, a glitchless run would split in the same places 
that a any percent run would split. So therefore, I don't need to make a new one. Um, it's just called any percent, even though you may not be quote unquote playing that. It's uh, it's still going to split in the same spots because all it's looking for is levels changing. Now, if we were to look at something like um, a game that actually has categories built into itself, so let's say something like Devil May Cry Three. I made an auto splitter for that. Um, it's uh, it's got options at the start in which are like predetermined by the actual game itself. So if we look at this Devil May Cry run here that I just pulled up. You can see on the main menu, it has a new game and a load game option. I'm going to try and pause this quickly so you can see. So then it also has a Virgil and a Dante option. Then it has gold and yellow options. It has, um, you know, just it has a bunch of different things in the game that is predetermined as a category. When it comes to Jet Set Radio Future, however, we created these categories. They're arbitrary, like they, you know, they they get created by the the users and the players. They're not set in stone. All we have is a new game and a load game, right? Like inside that new game, we're choosing to get so many souls or uh, kill PJ at a certain spot or uh, you know whatever it may be. And so because of that the auto splitter doesn't know the difference between which one you're playing it just knows that the game has started on a new file that's that's it um so the only differences between the three categories i have are any percent splits like you know we normally know how it splits souls percent gives you a couple options like kibo option 2 souls sewers option 2 souls it depends on like your route if you know which route you're taking, you choose whichever one in conjunction to what you're doing, right? Options three, yeah, exactly. So, and then with PJ percent, these are like the same splits as any percent, except the bottom point one has a different um, thing that says like you know if we've killed PJ then split. So having these three pretty pretty much encompasses everything. Uh, stuff like hundred percent, where it has like yeah, no, uh, things after you've you've killed Akamu is going to be different. But for the most part, you can basically choose any percent and use it for anything. All I'm saying is that this is giving you options, so this isn't set in stone, and you can use any of these for whatever you want. And it's always going to be um, calculating that IGT in the background. Um, life split inherently is always calculating real time period because that's all it's ever set to do. It's just a normal timer, but we're telling it through using an ASL file to actually, you know, look for in game time as well. All right, so I'm going to give an example of someone that may not want to use in game time or at least see it on their splits and still be able to use real time. So, say you're someone like Yayo who's been running for years and has real time splits that they've always used and they just want to keep comparing to that. Well, what this auto splitter and in-game timer allows you to do is it gives you options in order to see what you want to see. So, um, I've made like a test with just one split here. And what I've done is I've gone into the settings, I've activated the auto splitter, gone into settings and unchecked split and reset. So uh, say I want to continue manually splitting. I want, I want to just keep doing what I've been doing and don't want it to split for me. Cool, uncheck that. I also want to reset on my own. Cool, great. The only one you'll want to keep is start. Keep that one checked. Keep game modes checked. And then say you didn't want any of this auto splitting functionality in here. Literally just go to the part that says auto splitter and just uncheck underneath any percent. Keep any percent checked just so it knows that, you know, it needs to start still. But then everything else is just going to be completely manual, just like you had it. So now that we have that set, you can see here that I have both real time and game time from the test I did. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to compare against real time. 
And what that's going to do is all of my splits are going to show real time. My timer is going to show real time. My comparisons down here are going to show real time. But because we have the in-game timer active, it's still going to be recording game time on this tab. So that way we can still get this information to put on community spreadsheets and such. So, now that we have this set, I'm going to go in and it should start just like normal, like for us. Cool. Great. And I'm just going to do a garage real quick. Okay, so now that we're approaching the end here, I'm going to have to manually split because I have auto-splitting off. So, as soon as I see this load screen, I'll hit it. Alright. So. There's that. Now. As you can see, I'm looking at right now the real time. If I compare against game time, you can see it's different. So. We, both, we have both of the pieces of info we need, but I'm still doing manual splits and I still see the real time. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and hit reset. Go look at the splits. And you can see I've got the 117.88 for my real time, my game time, 117.16. So it'll still record in the background, but you guys can still use real time if you want. Okay, so that pretty much covered what I wanted to say. The gist of it is, <clears throat> if you wanted to use real-time splits, you still can. But if you activate the auto-splitter, you can still have the in-game timer in the background so that we can use those things for research and um, comparisons and anything else, if you had it said like this. Um, the categories are, you know, like I said, arbitrary. Pick which one you think is going to work for said category you're running. And if there's one that's like really weird, um, I might create another category for this. But in reality, I, I'm not sure we need any, but we'll see. Um, and then I know that, like, you know, the setup for it on Xbox to get the auto splitter is it's it's tricky and uh pain in the ass compared to what we do on cxbx so if you need help you know just just ask somebody in the discord and uh you know we'll be able to help you but otherwise that's all i really wanted to cover hopefully this clears up some some things about it and people will actually start using it now because it's silly not to use it considering it's the you know main timing method that we we, we use these days so all right well that's all. Have fun, and we'll catch you later.